Hi, this is Rich Formidoni from Korg USA, and I'm here at craftmusic.com with the M3 Music Workstation. And the great thing about being here at craftmusic.com is that they have some killer bundles. So if you're playing on stage, there's a bundle for that. If you're playing in the studio, there's a bundle for that. So whatever accessories you need, craftmusic.com is going to take care of you. What I'd like to show you today is what's going on with the M3 Expanded Update. The M3 Expanded is a total game changer. It's got new sounds, lots of new functionality, the sequencer's been vastly improved. So let's dig in and see what it's about. The first thing you'll notice about the M3 Expanded is that we've added three new expansion libraries. Two brass and woodwinds libraries and one stereo grand piano. And here's that piano. So you can hear it's a beautiful three-way stereo sampled grand with string resonance added as well. Now let's check out some of the new brass and woodwind sounds. One of the other cool things we've added is velocity metering in combi and sequence mode. So now if I play a combi... I can see not only the sounds that I'm controlling, but the sounds that Karma is controlling as well. And if I jump over to mixer mode... There are smaller velocity meters right next to the faders. By the way, the faders, you can now touch and drag to move them along the screen. Same thing with the knobs. Just grab it, move it side to side, and you can control the sound right from the display. Now, we've always had killer effects in the M3, and what we've done is we've added lots of presets, so you can dig in a little bit deeper. And so, say for example, we've got this stereo parametric four-band EQ. If we jump over to the presets, you can see that there are some uh, EQ presets all ready to go. Piano enhancer, string rosin enhance, and if we change to a different kind of effect, see what other kinds of effects we've got here. Talking modulator. Let's jump into that. And rather than spending a lot of time tweaking, you could use one of these presets to call up the kind of sound that you're trying to get out of that particular effect. And this is true of our mastering effects and total effects as well. We've also added some additional Karma functionality. Karma has been updated to version 2.2 with some great features like scene quantizing and other manipulations that you can perform. And in addition to that, you can also now create your own user GEs uh, using software that's available from karma-lab.com. So you can create your own types of Karma motion and import them right into the M3. Now some of the coolest stuff comes in sequence mode. The M3 has always had a wonderful high resolution sequencer that's very easy to edit and now we've taken it even a step further. So I'll jump into track edit and this is the normal screen that you would see where you can visually see the blocks of sequence data that you've recorded. Now we have this track view tab where you can actually see and manipulate the MIDI data. So if you want to you can grab a chunk, a measure and move it from one track to the next or if you want to you can click the magnifying glass and actually see and interact with your music using this piano roll display. So I'll touch these zoom buttons here and you can see lots of stuff at once and grab the hand tool and do some scrolling right on the display here. So that's very cool. And if you want to zoom in and do some, do some tweaky editing, grab the pencil there and zoom in even more and you can actually touch and modify the notes. So grab this one move it around the display a little bit, you can hear the notes changing, and you can change the length as well. Touch the pen, pencil rather, and you can draw a line in the controller lane. And this can control velocity or one of tons of other control change messages. So it's very visual and you can actually touch your music. So we've also updated some of the sounds that you get with the M3 without even going into the expansion libraries. So for example, there are lots of great classic, uh, classic keyboard sounds like electric pianos. And you can hear key off samples in there and uh, we've created a room using the reverb and delay. 
So there are also some great new clav sounds, some great whirlies, and the clavs actually have all the different registers that you would want. If you don't like that one, try a different sound. And yet another register. So the entire vocabulary of a clav is there in full force. So the M3 is terrific on its own and a very powerful musical tool. But when you plug it into the computer with USB or Firewire, if you have the optional Firewire expansion board, it really changes the game for whatever software you happen to be running. So this editor librarian, which comes with the M3, it allows you to interact with the M3. You can, you can see the changes happening. And as I switch modes, the editor switches with me. So it's a very visual way to interact with the M3. And it also runs as a VST, RTAS, and Audio Units plugin. So as you're working you know, in your favorite sequencer, you're working on a song, you save it. It actually saves the contents of the M3 along with it. So the next time you load up that song, the M3 will set itself up the exact same way it was. So it's essentially like having 16 software synths in one piece of hardware, and your computer isn't doing any of the processing power. The M3 is handling all of it. So there's another level of functionality that is really helpful when you're working with a computer, and that is external control mode. If I switch to external mode and I touch the control surface tab, I can choose from a hundred different templates. For example, Digital Performer, FM7, Reason, Cubase. So if I choose one of these, now my sliders are adjusting levels from within that software. And these buttons could be play and mute, rewind, play, fast forward, stop. You can customize them however, however you want. So there's 100 templates built in, and it's very easy to go and create your own. One other very useful thing is the optional Firewire expansion board. If you pick that up, your M3 becomes an audio interface. It works as an audio, uh, ASIO interface in, in whatever software you happen to be running, and it allows you to stream tracks to and from the M3. So it functions as a six-out, two-in effects processor as well. So you could, for example, take a vocal that you've recorded in your software, send it to the M3 for processing, then send it back to the computer at the same time and record it on a new track. So the effects that are in the M3 act as if they were plug-in effects for your computer. So there's so much more to the M3 than what I can show you in this video. We're really just scratching the surface. And if you want to learn a little bit more about it, we've done some tutorial videos. You can go to YouTube and search for M3 in the studio or M50 in the studio. A lot of them overlap as far as functionality. And remember here at Craft Music, they're going to set you up with all the accessories you need in a very convenient bundle that's going to be a great deal. So thanks for watching.